there's a problem. God created you for a purpose, and that purpose must come to pass. Enough is enough. Stand up, leave them behind. Tell them I'm going somewhere. Somebody is holding a position on the right on a camp. Somebody here must go home with a blessing. I will overtake them. I will overtake them. Do you believe that? Shout hallelujah. Christ in you. In the hope. Hallelujah. Open your Bible. First Corinthians. We are now in chapter 13. Entrance into epistle. We are going through the epistles. Beginning from First Corinthians. We are now in chapter 13. If you have seen it, say yes. Okay. Reverend George, read verse 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. If you read that verse 1, you may not catch it up at once. So I want us to catch it up as it were. Let us go back to chapter 12 and see verse 31. Chapter 12, read verse 31. Read. But covet earnestly the best gifts and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. We have entered into more excellent way. We are enter it from tonight. More excellent way that the gift you walk, the gift of the Spirit more excellent way. Then, read verse, verse 1 again. Though I speak with the tongues of men, though I speak with tongues of men, and of angels, and of angels, and have not charity, why do they call it charity? The correcting is love, but it was changed to charity because people started to abuse the word love because when the Bible was translated it mentioned love and people begin to see love the way worldly people are seeing it and in wisdom it was translated to charity charity and love is the same so read it again though I speak with the tongues of men Though I speak with tongue of men and of angels and of angels and have not charity and have not love, I am becoming a sounding brass. I'm becoming a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal or a tinkling cymbal. Finish. What a marrow of the world are we entering into tonight? I tremble. As I stand here, I don't think that I'm qualified to open this epistle. But what can, what can I do? I must open it. I'm speaking from myself to everyone here. Don't see yourself on the pinnacle. You are not yet there. Be seated. A pistol is the marrow of the gospel. 
And if you come to Epistle, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 is the marrow of the Epistles. You know, when you get a bone, you break it and you draw it. That marrow is the marrow, chapter 13 is the marrow of a pistol. Are you hearing me clearly? Good. I will give you three points or three lessons tonight from this one verse. Lesson number one begins with chapter 12, 31. He is just no breakage. See where it begins. Read by chapter 12, 31 again. But covet earnestly. But covet. By the way, to be covetous is it not a sin? Church, answer me. Eh? You say what? It's a sin. Eh? It's a sin. But the Bible says covet. We should see this covetousness in the other side. Covet for what? But covet earnestly. Covet not co 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 covet earnestly. The best gifts. The best gift. And yet sure I the best covet. gift. Covet earnestly. The best gift. Everyone say the best. The best. Say it louder. The best. Say the best gift. Are you fearing? Say it boldly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Honestly, the best gift. The best gift. Yet. Yet. Show I unto you. Why did he say yet? Because you don't know it. This Holy Spirit is leading us. To it. Yet, I show you what? A more excellent way. A more what? Do you see how the Bible put it? A more excellent way. Then, he begins to show. Chapter 13, verse 1. I speak with the tongues of men. This is it. Though, though I speak with tongues of men and of angels. And of angels. How many of you want to speak with the tongues of angels? Say amen. Thank you. How many of you want to speak with tongues of men? Say yes. Huh? You don't want to speak again? Don't be afraid. Tongue of men. Do you know what it means? Tongue of men and angel. That means tongues of men. If it is Fulani, you speak. Yoruba, you speak. Igbo, you speak. Ibibio, you speak. French, you speak. German, you speak. Latin. Tongue of men. Who, who, who will not like to speak with tongues of men? It's a gift. And of the angels, the one we don't even know. Even though we speak with tongues of men and of the angels, now, the Spirit of God is leading us to what the Bible calls excellence. Church, can I ask you a question? Huh? Don't fear. If you go to exam,
and you have 98% over 100. Did you try? Eh? Good. If you have 100%, did you try? Eh? You try. Some people are no more talking. Why are you fearing? You try. Okay. That is the exam. That is human exam. If you score 100%, they will tell you, well done. But if you come to God, you score 100%. Eh? Have you not tried? Eh? You try. You not try. Somebody is laughing here. <laughs> Do you see? God's way is not man's way. You may try your best towards God, but your best is not enough. Before we come to what I'm saying, let me give you an example from the Bible. Mary and Martha, two sisters, they received Jesus into their house. Jesus came in with 12 men, his disciples. And the mother tried her best. Martha gave her best. Martha quickly engaged in business of the kitchen. He was busy slicing vegetables, cutting onions, cutting tomato and so forth and so forth. She was busy in the kitchen trying to prepare the best food for Jesus and 12 disciples. If you have Jesus in your house as a guest, Will you not prepare your best food? Uh, answer me. You will prepare your best. And that is what Martha was doing. She was preparing her best to serve the master and his disciples. While she was doing this, Mary was sitting down at Jesus' feet and let Martha do the kitchen work alone. And Martha could not bear it again. Where is this girl? She left me in the kitchen to serve Jesus alone, I will report. I will report this to Jesus. If I confront him, if I confront her by myself, it may bring quarrel. It doesn't show good testimony. Let me report the case to Jesus. And she went straight to Jesus and said, Master, Lord, do you see what my sister is doing? She left me alone in the kitchen to serve. Knowing very well we have 12 able men and you to prepare a very good dinner or lunch. And she left me alone. 
I don't want to pick quarrel with her. But Jesus, can you use your authority? Tell her to help me. Uh -uh. Let brotherly love or sisterly love continue. Tell her to help me. Normally, that is a good thing to do. Am I right? Uh -uh. If it is me, I will say, Ha! Mary, what are you doing there? Your sister is studying and you sit down there doing what? Is it time for Bible study? What are you doing? Go and walk before you study. But how many of you know the way of Jesus is not my way? Martha reported the case to Jesus. Expecting Jesus to do something. Jesus looked at her and said, Martha, Martha. When Jesus calls you two twi two twice, if he calls you twice, be very careful. Simon, Simon, devil wants to take you. Peter, Peter, Simon, two times. Martha, Martha. Martha said yes. You are troubling yourself with so many things. Do you know what Jesus called that in? Things. <laughs> you are troubling yourself, cumbering yourself with so many things. I perceive that Martha was shocked. Jesus, is that what you are going to say? Jesus went on to say, Mary has chosen the best. What? It's not fair. You mean that she chose the best and she left me alone to cook? Jesus has said what he said. He want to say. You are troubling yourself with so many things. But Mary has chosen the best thing. What a lesson. What did Mary choose? I perceive he chose what we are discussing tonight. He chose the excellent thing. He chose more excellent thing. Even though what she was doing was very good, but not excellent. Preparing the food in the kitchen was very good, but not excellent. What God is looking in me and you is not a question of 100%, but excellent. We must go higher. We must move higher. I show you a more excellent way, Paul said. And we are going to stay in that one verse. The first point, I say three points, the first one is that you must understand the meaning of excellence. Excellent is not best. It's not a question of best, but excellent. More excellent. What you seem to be very good in the sight of man is not so in the sight of God. It is only what God approves you can call excellent. Who among you here?
can tell me, Pastor Ezekiel, I'm doing the excellent thing. Who among you? Who among you can raise up your two hands and say, I'm free. I'm doing excellent thing. Who among you can say all the words I speak is excellent word? If that is so, praise God. But if not so, listen to me. We are moving to the excellence. Listen to what the Spirit is saying. I show you an excellent way, Paul said. And then he downloaded it. Read verse 1 again of chapter 13. Read. Though I speak with the tongues of men, though I speak with tongues of men, and of angels, and of angels, and have not charity, and there is nothing like excellence, it's useless. If you see somebody who can speak all language of Nigeria, not only Nigeria, he speaks the language of other nations. And he proceeds to speak the language of angels. You will doff your cap for that person. And Paul, by the Spirit, said, Though I speak the language of men and of angels, and I don't have love, what do you say? Read again. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels mm -hmm. and have not charity, mm -hmm. I am become as sounding brass. Do you know what? <laughs> so, I don't know whether the choir you have sounding brass in that you are musical instrument. And let me use that, that, that thing that used to be around. That, that. Huh? See what? Simba. Cha 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 cha. Even though you have all these tongues of men and angels, and you have no love, yeah. What do you call it? Simba. Cha, 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 cha. You're making noise. Do you know how it looks like? You go to God. You're a believer. You are sanctified. You have received Jesus. Spirit filled. Let me go to my heavenly father. Heavenly Father, you are praying now. I come to you by the authority of your word. And I'm praying in the name of Jesus. Yes. And you pray, 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 pray. You, you enter into the spirit. Do you know what? The angels will be looking at you. The heaven will say, what is this man? He's making noise. This man is making noise. This woman is making noise. I perceive, if I can be, look at the face of, the, of Jesus, Jesus will, will put hand like this. Eh? Is that how you are making noise? <laughs> <laughs> Just making noise in heaven. Tapasho lopo kudi tele tele kile chupa papa papa. 
Some people are making noise. Why? It's empty. No noise. Eh? No love. And you pray, 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 pray. You shake your head, shake your head. Knock your finger. Stamp your feet. Why making noise? We don't know what you are saying. You wasted minutes, 30 minutes making noise. The whole heaven is full of your noise. You are nothing. Empty. How many of us here are noise makers before God? Why? Because you are not living the life of understanding of love. Love is not kissing. It's not. It's not romance. <laughs> it's not romance. We shall discuss love as we go on, not this night. Love has some fruit. There's a fruit of love. In case if you want to study it, go to Galatia, chapter 5. The fruit of love is peace, joy. If you don't have it, you have no love. If you look into your life, there is no peace. Peace with God. Peace with man. Peace with God. I say with God. If you don't have it, that's, that's the first phase of peace. Then you have the peace of God. It's deeper than peace with God. Peace of God passes understanding. All understanding. You can't understand it. It's the fruit of the Spirit. And then you have God of peace. Divine nature. You have God himself. Not only the fruit of love, but you now you have God, the God of love. I don't know how many of us tonight will stop making noise. When, you, when there's no understanding of love, I say love is not kissing. It's not kiss. Love is a thing of the spirit. It can show openly, demonstrate openly, but the deep down is the things of the spirit. Love doesn't make noise. The timbrin sambo is solid. Go and read that first Corinthians chapter ten. Love doesn't think evil against anybody. Love doesn't talk against anybody. Love has fruit. Love doesn't be a grudge. Love doesn't retain anger. 
No. Love forgives quickly. Love doesn't demarcate. No. Love doesn't hold grudge. No. No. It doesn't. We shall study it later deeper. Let me give you a funny story. One boy went for exam. Ten questions. He answered the whole question correctly. The teacher mark, good, 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 very good, 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 good. Ha! Who is this boy? He is qualified to have a scholarship. Who is this boy? And they tried to check what is the name of where is where is the name of this boy? He did not write his name. It's a West. All this thing you pass, no name, is useless. This is how some life of Christians are. It's a pity. You may get so many things, good, 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 good. You pray, good. You preach, good. You sing good. You give good. Ah, you are doing everything. Good, 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 good. What is the name of this person? No name. Because if love is not in your name, it's not before God. You are nothing. Who is qualified here? To move into excellence. You know, some people they may hear all these things, they may not believe it. Because God of this world has hardened their heart. Or you thought that you know it. If you are not teachable as a small child, it's very hard for you to enter into the kingdom. Anytime you come before God or before his teaching, dislodge everything you have known. Open for God to speak to you. Have a love. Or if you depend that you are speaking in tongues, you are before Almighty God. All the things that are to to go, to go, you speak. If I may say like a man, somebody may, may say from the kingdom, who is making that noise? Eh? Tell him to stand up. Noise is too much here. To go, to go, to go, to You know, funny enough, I'm not trying to ridicule anybody, but some people, they can't change their, their way of speaking in tongues. Only one way. Tolo, kolo, toko, tolo, tolo, kolo, toko, tomorrow, tolo, tolo, koto, koto, tolo, next week, tolo, tolo, Don't make noise. Don't make noise in heaven. Can I tell you, do you know that Aladras, they are speaking tongues. They are speaking tongues. Eh? You don't know. Do you know that mad people speak in tongues? They speak in tongues. I 
are they speaking to God? Don't be on the same level with them. Lack of knowledge. Before you begin to talk to God in tongues, be sure you have no grudge. Be sure you have no anger. Be sure that bitterness is cleared. Be sure that you are free in your spirit. Otherwise, you will be there making po -po 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 -po. they are making noise. Read that pattern away, pattern one again. Speak with the tongues of men. Though I speak with tongues of men, tongues of men, tongues of men, every language, you, you know it, you speak it, eh? and of angels, and of angels, a different kind of, you speak their tongues, and have not charity, you have no love, I am become a sounding brass. Do you, do you see what the Bible says? Or a wait, wait. You have what? Become. <laughs> on the line. You have become something. You are not only speaking, you have become something. You know the Bible says, as many that receive him, to them give power to do what? To become. To become sons of God. Now, because you have no love and you are speaking, you have become something. In the presence of God, What do you become? Read again. Get I have it. become a sounding brass. You have become what? A sounding. Stop there. This is what you become. A noise maker. And tomorrow, you come again. Praise the Lord, oh single, single. You climb to the throne. Praise the Lord, oh, single, single. Praise the Lord. Kapa, kwa, 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 kwa. That noise maker don't come. <laughs> that, that noise maker is here again. And you shake your head, you do everything, you. Noise makers. You may not like this thing. It's tight, but it's right. When I studied this chapter that, that of First Corinthians, I said, God have mercy. If God can show us the camera of our, of our position in the kingdom, when we approach the throne of God, you're a child of God, no doubt. But what kind of a child? You are making noise. If you come to your father or to your mother, say, Mama, Daddy, yes, what can I do? Your mother or your father doesn't know what you are saying. Ta 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 what are you talking? My son, what I, say something I will understand now. Hey, 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 go, go, hey, hey. <laughs> you are laughing. <laughs> Your mother will call the other senior one. Come on, come and know what is wrong with your brother. Your brother, come. What is he talking about? Listen. Mama, I beg you now. What can I do for you? Do you know what your brother or sister will say? Let us consult the doctor. Something is wrong. 
If you don't understand the natural thing, how can you understand the spiritual? You are just disturbing heaven. You are making noise. If there is any angel that is a doctor, please attend to him. Any nurse is there? <laughs> Thank God that God gave us this Bible to look at it as a mirror. To know what is happening. This is a mirror of the world. This is a, a picture of your soul. You are making noise. And you become. You, you have made yourself to become. You become. You have become something. You have become samba. You have become drum. You made yourself to be like that. Because no charity, no love. Do you see, we are delaying ourselves. We are doing ourselves. We are deceiving ourselves. Let me ask you a question. Is it too hard to forgive? Huh? What can make you to become? You became first of all a child of God. Now you are becoming a, 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 a samba. What is wrong? Can't you forgive that thing? Can't you dissolve? You know, Satan can hold you tight. By their fruit, you shall know them. And when you see the person, your mind will turn. You may not talk, but once you see him, something is wrong with your heart. Because the thing is inside of you. You rebel. You, you react inside. One person told me, I don't like his sight. This is what he told me. He said, I don't even like his sight. Somebody made by God, you don't like to see him at all. Something is wrong. You have become. See, see what you do. See what you make yourself. You have become. God gave you salvation as a gift. But character molding is another thing. You are character to be molded to be like Jesus is another case. To become. You may receive the gift of tongues and you are speaking in tongues freely, but that is not the case. Is there any love inside? The first one is excellent. You may be doing everything the best of your knowledge, but you have not accepted the excellent way. Number two is that you become a tinkle symbol. Number three, read, read the next one. Or oh, a tinkle symbol. A tinkle symbol. Do you know what that means? Huh? Empty. Have you finished verse one? You are a balloon. You know blow blow? Blow blow is big, but they can't do anything. You are a balloon. 
you are nothing. Read the whole verse one again. I close. Read the whole verse one again. Though I speak with the tongues of men, though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, and of angels, and have not charity, and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass. I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. A tinkling cymbal. That means you are nothing. Don't make noise in heaven. Start to be real from tonight, if you like. It's a choice. Christianity is everyday experience. If I may suggest, from now on, don't open your mouth to speak evil against anybody. It's tight, but it's right. Speak evil of no one. Make your Christianity a full Christianity. If you come to the level of love, you will face the battle against the devil. But I want to assure you, love wins. Love wins. Love wins. Nobody wants to say amen. I close. They crucified Jesus away with this man. We don't want this man to be our king. Away with him. Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. They were shouting. Away with him. Jesus said, okay, away with me. You can't do away with love. Love lifted me. If you lift me up, I will draw men unto myself. You can't kill love. You can't kill it. You can't. If you bury love, highest 72 hours, it will come up again. Let every one of us start tonight. Those pangs of bitterness, you lose in your life. Do away with it. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall do what? Don't want to see God.